Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we've got a little bit more Orc-based information for you. Because, of course, we have. It's October, it's Orctober, and there's Orc leaks, rumours, and shit all over the place. Uh, admittedly, <laughs> a considerable portion of that is my fault, but there you go. Um, look, if someone sends me stuff and says, you can tell people, I'm not going to not tell people, I'm going to tell you what I've been told, because why would I not share that? Um, so, yeah, but... There's been some more leakage. Um, there's been leaked stuff for the Shock Jump Dragster and the Custom Booster Blaster. Uh, I actually have my own thing for the Shock Jump Dragster that uh, my source sent me a couple of days ago, but I haven't been able to do anything with it up until today, which is frustrating, but there you go. Um, so it does look like it lines up with a data sheet that was leaked to Spiky Bits, I believe. So that is reassuring. That suggests that that is pretty much legit. Um, the data sheet doesn't look like it's come from a codex. It looks like it might be out of the Speed Freaks box where it might have been a sneaky sh snapshot taken from playtesting, for instance. So, as always, things might be a little bit different. Um, but there is a, a question before we get to the, the uh, two new two new vehicles, the two new leaks for the vehicles, um, which is what does Speed Mob do? Because we keep seeing Speed Mob referenced as a rule for these vehicles, but we don't know what it does yet. Except we do know what it does, because I'm going to tell you. Speed Mob. The first time this unit is set up on the battlefield, all of its models must be placed six inches of at least one other model from the unit. From that point onwards, each model operates independently and is treated as a separate unit for all rules purposes. So there you go. When it comes to deployment, they've got to be placed at least six inches from like another model of the unit, but only one of them, and then they can uh, they can move independently, do what they like, be free as a bird, not be constrained to that formation any longer. That's what Speed Mob does, and so far it looks like Speed Mob does apply to all three of the vehicles that we've seen: um, the Squig Buggy, the Custom Booster Blaster, and the Shock Jump Dragster. We've got rules for all three of those, and the Speed Mob rule is part of all of them, by the look of things. Now, let's have a quick look at the shock jump dragster which looks fucking awesome by the way uh <laughs> it looks great i really like it so the shock jump dragster moves 14 weapon skill 4 ballistic skill 5 strength 5 to 6 wounds 8 attacks 4 leadership 6 4 plus save and it comes with a custom shock rifle which is a 24 inch range strength at ap minus 3 damage d6 if you roll one or more unmodified hit rolls of one for this weapon the bearer suffers one mortal wound after all this weapon's attacks have been resolved each time you make a wound roll of six plus for this weapon the target suffers one mortal wound in addition to any other damage nice rocket launcher 24 inch range ap minus 2 damage 3 strength 8 missed that bit out sorry and saw blades Again, melee, strength 1, AP minus 1, damage 1. The abilities are, here we go, daka daka daka, mob rule and speed mob. So there is the speed mob rule once again. It also has shock tunnel. If you roll a 4 plus when advancing with this model, remove it from the battlefield and set it up again anywhere on the battlefield more than 9 inches away from any enemy units. After the jump is completed, roll a dice. After doing so, roll a d6. On a 4 plus, one mortal wound is caused to the dragster. That was a little bit complicated the way that that was phrased when it was sent to me let me just do that again so after the jump is completed roll a d6 i think is what that's saying and on a four plus one mortal wound is caused to the dragster a four plus for a mortal wound on the vehicle is a, a painful but to be honest it is jumping about the battlefield like some sort of deranged delorean so i th I, th I think i can see that one uh grot gunner and targeting squid it, add plus two for the attack roll for the shock rifle that that's pretty significant that means they can actually hit things which is impressive for an orc so yeah a flat plus two to the attack roll for the shock rifle is not bad at all that's actually really quite good uh, and explodes when this model is reduced to zero wounds roll a d6 on a six this model explodes and every unit within three inches suffers d3 mortal wounds I really like that one. I like that's the one I like the most so far. I do like the squig buggy, but yeah, I I like that shock jump dragster. That's got some cool some cool stuff. Um, yeah, I just I like the abilities it's got. It's 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 a little bit it's a bit funky. It's a bit self damaging. It's a bit dangerous. It feels very very orky. I know quite a few people don't like the design of it. That it looks too kind of too well made too well designed to be orky but the rules feel they feel very orc and i i, I appreciate that a lot 
Um, so yeah, I I like that. That's good. That is that's a good vehicle. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on for this bit because this image is blurry as anything. Gotta be gotta be kid friendly. No swearing. That's not how this channel works, and it never has. It never will either. <laughs> he says, just waiting to get demonetized again. So, custom booster blaster. Um, movement 12 inches, weapon skill 4, but skill 5, strength 5, toughness 6, wounds 8, attacks 4, leadership 6, save 4. Plus, the image quality is so bad. I mean, I'm going to put it on the screen so you can see it, but by the time YouTube's finished with the compression on this video, it's probably just going to be a bit of white with some black blurs on it. So, I just decipher it as best you can and i will also attempt to decipher it as best you can so unit contains up to, contains one booster blaster it can include one additional booster blaster or two additional booster blasters and uh, each one adds five power rating each model is equipped with rivet cannons and four burner exhausts and each model's crew is armed with stick bombs and a grot blaster so the burner exhaust has got an 8 inch range assault d3 strength 4 ap0 damage 1 this weapon automatically hits its target nice bit of drive by action for that the grot blaster is 12 inches it's a pistol 1 strength 4 ap0 damage 1 rivet cannon 36 inch 36 inch range assault 6 strength 7 ap minus 2 damage 2 and stick bomb is 6 inches grenade d6 strength 3 ap0 damage 1 again this one has here we go mob rule daka 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 and speed mob um, grot gunner add one to hit rolls for attacks made with the model's grot blaster riding shotgun when this model shoots it can throw a grenade and shoot with a pistol in addition to any other weapons spiked ram each time this model finishes a charge moon selects an enemy within one inch of it and roll a d6 on a4 plus that unit suffers d3 mortal wounds that's nice i like that and uh, explodes if this model is reduced to zero wounds. Roll a d6 on a six that explodes, and each unit within six inches suffers d3 mortal wounds. So the rest of that stuff is pretty standard, pretty much the same as what we've seen for the other things. I am liking these vehicles. The custom booster blaster. I can't remember exactly what um, five power level converts into in points, but I think that's pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure that's pretty cheap. I think the shock jump dragster is uh, is six power level. So it's more expensive, but the uh, but yeah, the booster blaster is is relatively cheap. It's 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 not bad at all. And I have to admit, I really like the combination of those uh, those like flaming exhausts, the uh, the burner exhausts, and the spiked ram. You could probably do a fairly nasty amount of damage with it. I mean, it's it feels like a not a sp spammable vehicle but five power is not that much i don't think in points so it could be that you could get a decent number of these yeah i i, I quite like it i have to admit i'm liking the rules for each of these so far um there's a nice variety there's a there's a nice distinction between each of the vehicles they each seem to have a um like a proper purpose to them and actually having the speed mob rule in there as well, uh, now that we know what that does, um, <laughs> that helps a lot. You can have a lot of individual units whizzing around being a right pain in the backside, which I quite like. I'd be interested to see what the other two vehicles... No, three. Three, because we've got the got the, the uh, Death Killer War Trike. We've got the Megatrack Scrap Jet. Did we have another one? I thought it was it six vehicles we've got. Was it only five? I can't remember. Either way, I'm liking the variety. I'm liking the way they've done these. I'm thinking. I've already said before that the the kind of it's not a full range refresh that we're getting with orcs by the look of it. I'd be surprised if it was. Um, I feel like with the way things have gone and the way the article has been spaced out and the stuff that we've had so far. What we're what we're gonna see is a bunch of new vehicles, a new codex, and kind of repackaged stuff for everything else, which I would have liked to see some new HQs. Although we're only on the seventeenth of October. So that's probably not fair for me to say that. I mean the whole October thing has been blown a little bit out of proportion, which I will admit happily, uh a little bit guiltily that I've probably 
caused some of that myself. Like, I've, at no point have I gone, look, they only mentioned it once, were the ones who made a fuss about it, but that we have made a fuss about it. Um, unfortunately, the joke is too good, and it's too easy, and uh, it, it builds up expectations that maybe shouldn't be built quite as much as they have. Um, we've got the Speed Freaks pre-order on the 20th, which means the Codex is probably going to be pre-ordered on the 27th. That does give us a week and a half in which we could see some more stuff. You know, we could see more models, we could see um, new infantry, we could see new HQs, but there have been pictures of old Orc infantry on 32 mil bases, which kind of suggests to me that we're not going to get new infantry. We're going to get new bases, but we're not going to get new infantry for Orcs, which would be a shame, but on the other hand, we've got... <sighs> We've got a significant upgrade to the range for the vehicles. Like there's no there's no other way of putting it. The the upgrade that we're seeing in terms of choice of vehicle and what the vehicles can actually do compared to what the old stuff could do, it's it's very, very significant. It's not like I would not come out of that thinking to myself, Oh, what a half assed, you know, piece of shit codex. I would be like, Oh my god, there's like however many new vehicles out of this. That's actually that's actually not bad. In fact, let me just let me just double check because I keep keep forgetting how many there are. So there's the the shock jump dragster, there's the custom booster blaster, the boom dagger snaz wagon. That's the one I always forget. The mega truck scrap jet, the rocket truck squig buggy, and the um, and the death killer war truck. So yeah, there's six there's six new vehicles. The rules so far seem nice and varied. The abilities attached to them seem nice and varied and. I'm yet to see something where I'm looking at it and just going, oh, that's shit. Like, I'm not really seeing anything that's making me think that's, like, that's just garbage. Some of them might be more useful than others in the end. I mean, we've only got rules for three so far, and each of those has been leaks, so there is a chance that some of it could have changed or be a bit different. Um, <laughs> that's the same thing. Changed or be a bit different. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking the way they've gone with it, and... It would be nice to see more, but if we've got Speed Freaks on the 20th, and then we've got probably the Codex on the 27th, I'm not sure whether we'll see any more in the way of model changes, but I don't know how disappointed I would really be given how much we've got in terms of just a proper, a proper upgrade, not even a range refresh for the vehicle side of Orcs. Like, they, these are new, they're not... They're not like an updated version of the War Tracker, an updated version of the War Buggy. It's just the shitty old vehicles that have been around since Gorka Morka are being kicked out the window, and in their place you've got five completely new, completely separate vehicles and a new HQ in the form of the War Trike. That's not bad. That's not bad, and I think they're doing a decent job with the rules. They feel nice and fluffy, they feel nice and orky. I mean, that shock jump dragster, I really like that. That is that is a cool rule set. Regardless of how effective it might be, it's a cool rule set. And it, having said that, that gun is pretty good on that vehicle, and it's got a plus two to hit, so not bad. Not bad in the slightest, I don't think. Anyway... So yeah, that is the uh, that's that's what Speed Mob does. That's what the Shock Jump Dragster does, and the Custom Booster Blaster. So now we are waiting for the uh, we're waiting for the Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon, the Mega Trash Scrap Jet, and the Death Killer War Trike. So hopefully we will find out what those vehicles do, and it'd be interesting to see uh, how their rules stack up with the uh, with the other stuff. I'm hoping it's as fun as the others, at the very least. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Feel free to click Patreon, subscribe, video, all of that shit. Click if you like, don't click if you don't want to. And I will see you for the next one. Toodaloo.